Hey guys, so I know it's been a while. Um, I wanted to do a little life update and kind of show you my plants, bring you around the house. Um, I am moving again. If you follow me on Instagram, I've talked about it on there. So I'm moving to San Diego in a month. Um, my boyfriend is currently there, so I'll be meeting him there. We have an apartment. It is so cute. There's a patio area. so. I'm planning on filming way more when I get there. Um, you know, I haven't been passionate about filming for my channel in a while. Um, I just think like it kind of got me into a really bad habit of like over consuming, buying plants all the time, trying to like keep up with the trends and stay interesting. So I kind of got burnt out. That's honestly why I stopped filming I just it just felt overwhelming I ended up with like more than a hundred plants it was insane and I don't like living with that many plants in my house so once I move I'm gonna have a lot of my plants outside since it's gonna be gorgeous weather year-round I'm so excited and I'm, I'm I feel like it's gonna make me passionate about plants again because I'll be able to explore the new nurseries I'll be living in a different um, zone, planting zone. So I'll be able to plant like citrus outside and passion vines and I'll be able to keep it outside year, year round. So I'll just have more options when it comes to what I actually keep, you know, at my house. And I'm very excited to, to bring you guys along with this. Oh, there's a fuzz. Um, or it's Chloe's hair. So many dog, so much dog hair everywhere. <laughs> um, I'm really excited to share this part of my journey with you. I'm very nosy when it comes to the people that I watch on YouTube. So, you know, I know it's interesting to get updates and um, I'm sorry if any of you felt like I just abandoned my channel. I, I definitely have abandoned it many times, but I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna make content if I'm not passionate about it. I can definitely see it with the creators that I watch. Like if there are people you know, they're trying to make a living. Like they, a lot of people make their living on YouTube. So I get it. Sometimes you have no choice. I'm fortunate enough to not rely on YouTube for my income. Um, so I'm able to take those breaks if I'm truly not passionate about filming. Um, so yeah, that is my latest update. Also on Instagram, I also posted about my dog Kona. She has a lot of skin issues right now. Um, it's really bad. Like she's losing a lot of hair and, um, it's just really sad seeing her in the state. She's getting the care that she needs. I'm trying my best to, you know, provide the proper care for her. She's on, on medication and all that. So that all has also been, um, consuming my mind because it's just very upsetting seeing your dog in pain or discomfort and just physically seeing them change. It's, I'll pop a picture on here so you guys can see what I'm talking about if you don't follow me on Instagram. But if you were one of the people that commented on my Instagram post and like gave me suggestions and all that, I'm really appreciative. Uh, it's been really hard. Okay, so I'm just gonna take you guys um, around my house to give you an update on the plants that I have left. It's a lot less than I used to have in my collection. I think I had over 100 for sure. Now I have maybe 20. I haven't actually counted and some of them are propagations. Um, but it's, it's a lot more manageable and it's ideal because when I'm driving across the country, all of my plants are going in my Jeep and I only have so much room, it's not a big car. So this is actually ideal to not have to deal with the ridiculous amount of plants I had before. So I'm actually really grateful that I don't have to deal with that. It would just be very stressful trying to figure out how to transport them across the country in the middle of summer when it's very hot everywhere. So if you're interested in seeing my plants, keep watching. So this is one of my variegated Monstera propagations. It's doing really well. This one, I have it propagating in water. For some reason, it didn't do well in moss. Like, it's barely grown roots. Like, it is now a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the plants that are in my living room. This window is absolutely beautiful. It gets um, morning sun. 
and I'm going to miss this living room. It's really cute. Um, my computer's here because I sold both my desks, so I don't have a desk currently. Gotta love that. Um, but it works well. I actually love sitting on the floor, so. Uh, so this little shelf has a lot of happy little plant babies. Um, my Hoya, is it Mathilde or Mathide? I have no idea. I definitely don't say a lot of the plant words correct. It has some blooms right there. This blooms constantly. It's very healthy and happy. And then we have Hoya Lisa, which has, I think it has a few peduncles with flowers. The blooms are really pretty. I love Hoya blooms. They never get old. They're just so cute. They look so fake. <laughs> Let's see if it smells like anything. It kind of just smells like flowers. Nothing, nothing crazy, but it definitely smells good. It smells nice. And then we have a bunch of other blooms on here as well. There. There's another bloom. There's four total. Absolutely gorgeous plant. This did bloom for me for the first time. I'll post a photo. Unfortunately, I didn't get it on film, but finally it bloomed for me. It's very stubborn. <laughs> and then down here, this Hoya Hindu rope has grown crazy long. Like it didn't grow for years. I think I had it for like two or three years and it didn't grow at all. And then I moved it to this window and it just loves it. And then I also have this fishtail, which is kind of an annoying plant. Like it always kind of looks sad. Okay, so now we're gonna go upstairs. I'm out of breath somehow. Ooh. Let's go into Chloe's room. Chloe sleeps in her own room because she is my queen. This is my variegated Monstera. Um, I did cut it totally back. These are brand new leaves. That is where I made my cut. And then that's all the new growth. But it's doing really well. This is one of the pieces that I propagated from the mother plant and it's doing really well. I'm still waiting for new growth, but looks pretty happy. looks great. looks beautiful. I will say when I originally propagated the variegated Monstera, the one that I just showed you, it lost so many, so many of the propagations did not survive. So I had to throw them away. Like they just withered away. So I'm grateful that some of them are still with us today. <laughs> um, I propagated my Hoya mini bell. They, they bloom all the time, so I'm excited to have two of them now. I split them up into two. I used to have one large plant. It's got some baby leaves. It's looking good. Okay, so here's my dilemma. This is my Hoya. Oh my God, this is not a Hoya. This is a Monstera. Oh my goodness. I'm not thinking. Everything must, must be a Hoya, right? If I own it. My Monstera Thai Constellation, I propagated part of this and I sold it. So that was very satisfying. I don't know if I'm gonna have room to bring this with me across the country. I am very sad about that. Like it's just so big and it, look at the roots. Like the roots are insane. Like this huge root, like it's just so, such an extra plant. It's like, I'm gonna take over your house. Um, I don't know what to do about this. Like, do you think I should try to bring it with me? I just feel like it's gonna be such a pain in the ass to try to lug this with me across the country because it's so awkward and like huge. Like for context, look at this, my hand, like this is gigantic. Um, and I'm really hoping if it does produce a new leaf, I might propagate that and then sell this but it's just so pretty and I don't want to part with it. I've had it for a long time and you know, it's a pretty difficult plant to buy like a healthy one. I'm, I'm sure I could, but when like some of them don't grow that well, like this one is a very healthy plant that's easy to propagate. Um, like my friend Katie, she has one too and it never grows for her. And it's like, it's thrips all the time. And like mine does not have those issues. So I'm wondering, 
what I should do with this. I really don't want to part with it, but I'll have to decide what I'm going to do. But I did um, propagate right there. That's where I made my cut. And then all of this is the new growth. So she is thriving in this southern, this is a southern window. Okay. Let's see. It's kind of chaotic, so... We've got all the moving boxes and all my bits and bobs. Um, in here, ex ex excuse the mess, it's crazy in here. So my Hoya Patella Pink is always doing great. It's a really easy plant for me for some reason. I always heard this was difficult to care for, but mine flowers constantly and it's always happy. So. This is probably my favorite plant out of all of them, I think. Or it's at least in the top five. My Hoya variegated Hindu rope. She's looking good. There's so much new growth on this. Like it used to be just three vines and now it's like a bunch. So I'm hoping this will flower for me. Maybe I'll keep it um, outside in California on my covered little outside area. I think it'll do well. Um, this is my Hoya Kadata. It also thrives. It blooms all the time. The flowers are fuzzy and pink. That's one of the new leaves. I love how it looks like camo, like silver camo. So pretty. Also one of my favorites. It's a little bit fuzzy. Highly recommend this plant if you are in the market for Hoyas. Especially since the flowers are so pretty and the leaves are gorgeous, it's like, you can't go wrong. I have just a standard green Hoya here, Hoya Carnosa. I'm hoping this will start to bloom at some point and then I can have the flowers like trailing on around a window or something. Like, it's pretty. I like it. She's simple. She's basic, but I love her. And then over here... I have my variegated Hoya Carnosa looking good. We got some new growth there that's pink. This has never bloomed for me either, but I've definitely chopped it back a few times, so I'm sure that's interfered with the peduncle growth, but it's beautiful and I love the pot. It's a beautiful pot. And then this guy is a Sansevieria whale tail. Honestly, I need to water it. I kind of um, ignore this one. It's not, not my favorite. It's beautiful. I love it, but I've been busy. So he's just been chilling here. So those are all the plants that I have in my house. I know that is not very many, um, but like I said, I'm going to add to my collection when I move. This is ideal for my move to have less plants. So I'm not mad about it. I have all the plants that I love and... Um, yeah, I just, I really just wanted to post a video on here. I feel like sometimes I'll film and I'll be like, oh, it's not interesting. This is not, I don't know, this isn't good enough to post. And I'm just feeling good today. I'm in a great mood and I want to connect with you guys. So I figured I would just film and I love editing too. Like editing, I definitely miss doing that. You just, I get in the zone and it's great. Um, I'm actually going to show you Kona too before I let you go. So here's Coco, she's sleeping, but you can see her face. She's lost hair on her face. I feel so bad, but she's getting the care that she needs and um, she'll be okay. Yeah, she's on medication and she's got her little sweater on to prevent her from licking her wounds, but she's a little sweetie and we'll take care of her, right? We'll take good care of ya. Yes, we will. We'll take good care of you, baby. All right. Well, thanks for watching to the end. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, can you leave an ice cream emoji so I know that you, you're a real one and you watched this whole video? <laughs> I hope you found it interesting. I know for me personally, I pretty much exclusively watch YouTube. And I will watch my favorite YouTuber do anything. Like they could be cleaning their house or 
making their bed and I'll watch because I'm like I I feel like they're my friend and they're giving me life updates so hopefully you guys found this interesting um, if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up um, subscribe if you haven't already and I hope to see you in my next video bye Chloe hello what you doing she's she's stalking me